All right, welcome back to Northcraft Analytics. We're going to do another quick tip on how to use the Solar Winds NPM analysis. So let's take a look here. We're going to do a percentage of load. We're going to load in um, our cube here and get everything going. So uh, take a look at these are some of the uh, metrics that we're calculating against right here. Today we're going to do performance of load. So I always like to start out with something interesting. And so let's drop the interfaces. We're going to look at nodes today. So let's put in a caption. So this is the actual name. I mean, we can do caption. We can apply the IP address if we wanted to, which is going to be meaningless. Currently, I think we have 1,824 different nodes that we're going to look at these variables at. So let's start here. So like I said, we're going to take a look at our load. So let's take our percentage of our load and we can drop it in there. You can see we can drop the standard load, the max load, or the min load if that's what we were interested in. But as an overall, we're going to look at percentage. Now this is overall time. We're not going to do any time related crunches here. So we're going to exclude the measurement periods or dates. And so we have our percentage of load. Now at this point, I'm actually trying to run a report. I want to see the higher numbers so you can see these. So there's a couple of ways you can do your sorts. We're going to take it off of the data tab on the ribbon bar, click data, then click sort. And we're going to say descending against percentage of load. And so that's going to give us this number. Keep in mind, we're just populating this information and that has it for all 1800 different nodes we're looking at. So uh, one of the things we really like is the speed of the cube. It gives you uh, the flexibility to just change things on the fly and how you want to look at it. So one of the things that load is a calculation of the memory utilization as well as the CPU utilization. And so a lot of times when you see high load you're going to see buffer misses. So let's take a look at um, huge misses. We don't have anything there, but I do know if we do big and medium, we're going to see some additional data. Okay? And so we can see that actually this one's not doing too shabbily. Alright, well, we got all that, and we can also take a look at how many packets do we lose while we're monitoring this. So, solar ones is saying we've lost 42, 66 overall time. And I'll clarify that the network that this is running on is a fairly well-tuned network. Um, most of the devices are beefier than are required. Um, so you can use this in many ways, as in you can let your percentages and the amount of memory used actually get a lot higher, um, or you can lower it back down. But let's take a look at the percentage of memory being used by all these devices. And so I'm going to drop that in there. and nice and easy. We can change our order, throw it in this way, take a look and see exactly what we want to see. Now at this stage of the game, you know, we could say, all right, I have a, a big list of 1800. I really don't want to look at all 1800. So let's do our value and let's take a top right off the bat. I'll just, I think I want to look quick. Let's click here. I'm going to select value filters choose the top 10 and it's going to show me this now we can choose chop or bot top or bottom and I want to say that I want to see 15 unique items not a percent but 15 unique items and I can base it on the percentage of load so we can always change that but this is a percentage of load okay so now we can see that we have these devices that are running a really high percentage of load and honestly those aren't very high. I, I get concerned when you see things around 80 percent load. Um, the buffer misses are something that bothers me more than anything else and you know most uh, you need to talk to your network people and, and they can actually identify uh, what's important in your organization. So we now have this report uh, fairly quick less than five minutes to see exactly what my percentage of load was. Uh, this information can be dropped into a dashboard just as easily and we can take a look at it. So now one of the reasons that we wanted to do this is I might be looking for 
a way to lower my percentage of load and perhaps by changing it by the device. So this is where we can either look at the iOS version that's been installed on each of these devices. And so you can see these are all mostly in the 15s except for this really bad one up here. And that runs at 56. And we might have something with that. Or we can turn around and um, let's find the machine type. Here we go. And so we could say, all right, this is a Catalyst 2900. That runs at about 56. This is also a Catalyst 2900. Runs at about 51. We drop down to 296s and they drop significantly. Now there may or may not be any sort of a reason behind that. I would suspect it. Um, one of the things that I would use this data for specifically is uh, I can go in here and find out my versioning and ensure that my versioning was all updated to uh, the appropriate levels. So that's a really quick and fast way that we can go through and look at some of the uh, SolarWinds variables and determine the best way to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave us some feedback. Thank you.